Hey there, I'm Nick. I'm an account executive here at Sona. In today's episode of Tech Tuesday, I'm going to be building off my previous episode of the Clover Dashboard. So last time we talked about payments and what payments look like on the Clover Dashboard. Today I'm going to show you the next step up, which is called Essentials. And essentially, you just get everything that payment offers, except you get inventory management as well. So let's go take a look right now. Okay, so let's actually take a look at what happens when we click the inventory button. Whoa, look at all the drop down items. Now, it's important to keep in mind on Essentials, you only have access to items and categories. The other items or drop down menus, I guess, would be with register or higher, but we're not worried about that today. We'll talk about that next time. Again, we just have items and categories on Essentials. So I'm gonna show you how you can add an item on the Clover dashboard. And there's really two ways. Now you can add items, like I'm gonna show you here, where you click this little green button to the top left and say, I wanna sell a jumbo dog. And I want the price to be three bucks. I hit continue. And we are prompt, prompt to this page where it just shows <clears throat> what the price is again, the fix and how we, what type of pricing type we want will be fixed. We want the item to have a color. We'll do brown. And then if you wanna have a description for your item, we don't need to for this uh, video, but you can if you'd like. And then we click save. And now it is saved. So now we can go back and check to see if it's saved. We go up to the top right search button and jumbo dog, three bucks. Look at that. Now the second way to add inventory to the Clover dashboard is to go up to the top right in these three little circles here. And you have import and export. So for this case, we would want to import. And the reason why we want to do this is if you have a lot of inventory items that you want to add all at once, you basically just go on Excel and then you put all your items in the certain column. And then next to it, you put the prices. And then simply you would just choose the file and you upload it that way. So it's just more efficient if you have a lot of inventory items that you want to do all at once instead of going like the previous one I just showed you with the add item individually um, to save you some time. Lastly, we're going to look at the categories section. So the categories basically just allows you to put your items in a certain category, again, just for time and efficiency. So that way, you know, you can see the different ones that we have here at Sona just as testers. Like, so if you have a brunch menu or breakfast or you know, chairs, desserts, like you can click it. And you can obviously do the same sort of thing as adding an item, but you just basically pick a category, pick the color that you want it to, and then the way it would appear. So also very handy. Uh, again, mostly all this, what I'm trying to show you is have to do with time efficiency of the business. That way it takes less time for your employees to find what they're looking for. And that way you can get your customers out the door quicker. And you can keep keeping that flow going. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching as always. And if you have any questions, please reach out to info at See you next time.